Whether you're working in 2.5D or 3D, you're inherently always going to be working with a brush. I'd like to talk about a few options for this brush, the intensity, the fall off, and the draw size. Again, I'm in my startup menu and I'm going to click this other option so that I can open up ZBrush with a blank canvas. And as we saw earlier, if we click and drag in this canvas, we'll be dropping some pixels. You'll also notice that there's a certain size to this stroke. I'll hit Control N to clear. Now if you look up here at the top, you notice that you have this option called Draw Size. Draw Size will affect the diameter of the brush, so if I slide this slider over to the right, I get a very large brush. If I slide this over to the left, I get a small stroke. Above Draw Size is Focal Shift. Focal Shift allows us to soften the edges of our brush. You'll notice that my cursor has two circles, an inner and an outer. The distance between the two is how soft your brush is. So for instance, if I take my focal shift and push it to the right, you notice that there's a greater distance between those two circles, and I get a softer stroke, or a softer edge, I should say. If I take this focal shift and push it over to the left, those two circles move closer together, giving me a much harder edge. Control N to clear. I'll take my focal shift and push it back to zero push my draw size down to about 65. And now let's talk about intensity. Many people have referred to working in ZBrush like working with digital clay. Currently I'm using a tablet, not a mouse. So I'm going to imagine as if I have clay leaking out the tip of my brush or my pen that I'm using on my tablet. The intensity is going to change how much of that leaks out. So if I turn this way up, somewhere close to 90, we'll get a lot of clay leaking out, or a lot of pixels being dropped to canvas. If I turn this way down, somewhere around 15, you notice we get a much softer look and less pixels dropping the canvas. Control N to clear. So when you're new to ZBrush, I suggest that you play with the focal shift, the draw size, and the Z intensity. Work with it in a 2.5D state before you start working with it in 3D. The better you get with it now, the better you'll do later on when we do work with 3D. Now there is a keyboard shortcut I'd like to show you. If you tap the S key, you'll bring up a slider for your draw size. This is a very quick way to sculpt and then change your draw size on the fly. That way you don't have to keep coming up here to change it. Another keyboard shortcut is holding down the spacebar. You notice when I hold down the spacebar I have access to my draw size, my focal shift, and a whole bunch of other options that you see here in the user interface. 